I'm going to calibrate the speed on this uh, Sony TC765. I'm going to use a magnetic reference laboratory uh, tape. I have it queued to the 4000 hertz portion of the tape. And we want to read 4K on the output. I have a frequency counter connected to the output of the headphones so we can monitor the uh, monitor the levels coming out. I've already adjusted the seven and a half inch uh, speed and we'll see it we'll see it on the uh, on the meter. But I'm gonna uh, play that for a minute and then we're gonna go in and adjust for the uh, three and three quarter inch setting. I haven't calibrated that one yet. So starting out with seven and a half inches per second, we're gonna listen to that portion of the tape and we should read right at four K uh, at the meter. Four kilohertz. Okay, we got a good signal. This, uh, the tolerance for that setting is uh, it can go up to 40, 4,030 hertz or down to 3970. So we've got a little leeway there, but we were well within tolerance uh, at the 4K setting. If we did need to adjust that, we would adjust VR901, which is located behind this slot. Uh, I'm going to drop it down to three and three quarter inches per second, rewind the tape a little bit, and now when we play that four kilohertz tone, it's going to, uh, well, three and three quarter inches per second is half of seven and a half inches per second. So instead of reading 4K at the meter, we should read 2K. Uh, again, I haven't calibrated the uh, three and three quarter section yet, so I'm going to insert the screwdriver into the into the variable resistor. <laughs> I'm going to play this portion, and we should read 2K at the meter. Okay, that was a 2,000 hertz tone. Next is coming up. We can bring it up a little bit because it should read 1K right there. Now we should be at 2K. We're close, but it needs to come up just a little bit. Okay, we're going to keep them there. And again, this is 4K being played at uh, 3 and 3 quarters, so it's going to be a little slow. This is 8 kilohertz, so we should read 4 kilohertz. And if we speed it up, it should go up to 8K. And that's the tape speed adjustment on the Sony TC765. Doing the playback head alignment on the Sony TC765. Uh, the, the signal I'm looking for when I'm playing back that 12.5 kilohertz tone should look like uh, either of these three. This is in the good range, uh, up to 90 degrees uh, out of phase. This is a perfect setting. Th these two are acceptable. What we don't want to see is, is this uh, signal at our O scope. So uh, we adjust the uh, playback head with these two Allen screws. I'm going to monitor that uh, the output signal on my O scope. So when I press play, I'm going to start at the lower range uh, and then work our way up to 12 kilohertz. Is that a very good signal. 2 kilohertz. 2K. Looking good. And if we adjusted it either way, we 4 kilohertz. That's tilting the head a little bit, so we're gonna bring it back down. We'll get back where it was. So that's that's a very good signal. Eight kilohertz. Again, we're well within tolerance. Ten kilohertz. Five kilohertz. Okay, so all those readings are good. That tells me that the playback head is in a good alignment.
That's the video output level calibration of VR104 and VR304 adjust the left and the right channels. I've already done the left channel. Now I have the right channel connected to the uh, multimeter. I'm going to look for 0.44 volts at the output when I play that reference section of the tape uh, back on the reel-to-reel. Uh, -reel. And this is going to be the right channel. And we're looking for 0.44 volts. One kilohertz at reference flexibility. Set reproducer gain so the volume indicators read zero decibels. Okay, it's, it's okay where it is. 0.44 volts. That's what we're looking for. Just completed the bias and level, record level calibration on the Tommy TC765. Right now I'm recording a, a tone from the oscillator. That's the actual recording. This is the input coming into the machine, 0 dB. And we're looking for that same signal, or same level, at the uh, output of the tape. And they're identical. Since no one wants to listen to uh, recorded tones or record a little music on this uh, Sony TC765. Now the music comes from a PC and we're listening to it over a Pioneer system to see in the rear. Recording at seven and a half inches per second. Sony TC-765.